And Donald Trump says he's appealing to minority voters, although he so far has been talking to mostly white audiences. But this weekend, he will cha that will change. He's venturing out to Detroit. Accompanied by Dr. Ben Carson, he will be speaking at a predominantly black church. This message could be undermined by a Twitter firestorm over one of Trump's leading surrogates, Pastor Mark Burns, who tweeted a cartoon showing Hillary Clinton in blackface. Pastor Burns is now apologizing. He's taken that tweet down. Joining me now is Republican Congressman Chris Collins of New York, who is a co-chair of Donald Trump's campaign House Leadership Committee. Thank you very much, Congressman. Um, no, always nice to be with you, Andrea. Well, it's good to see you. I want to ask about this whole storm over Pastor Burns, what he tweeted, whether this is the best way to reach out to the African-American community? Uh, well, Andrea, you certainly can't hold Donald Trump accountable for something someone else has done that's clearly inappropriate. I mean, it's, I think, disappointing to all Americans to see any smear campaign, what Hillary did with the KKK, uh, can't be defended, nor could this action be defended. We Americans want to hear uh, about policy. Uh, they want to hear Donald Trump talk more about immigration, defending the borders, using E-Verify, making sure that uh, we do build a wall and that uh, we have a compassionate uh, answer for all those illegal immigrants that have been working the farms for years and raising a family. And I believe we'll hear that speech coming out soon. Uh, they they want to hear policies on tax reform, on economic growth. Uh, and so uh, these other uh, distractions are, are certainly disappointing to all of us. And then I think to some extent in the media, you know, they get uh, kind of an outsized amount of attention, which frankly, I wish they would just be treated as they are, well, which is insignificant but disappointing. Well, it isn't some uh, outside person who's done it because the campaign again. Uh, endorsed Pastor Burns. He speaks at most of the rallies. He's one of the warm-up speakers. He's an integral part of the Trump campaign. So they've not disavowed what he did. Yeah, well, I mean, he screwed up, and uh, I'm glad he's apologized for it. You got to wonder, uh, you know, what was going through his head when he did it. Can't can't defend it, so I won't try to defend it. I'm glad he's apologized and disappointed it happened. How important is it for Donald Trump in his speech tomorrow on immigration to be specific, to explain what does he mean about the deportation force? What does he mean about uh, being, I think, what you were just suggesting, more forgiving of people who have, you know, who came in illegally but have been here for decades and have proved to be uh, good, upstanding members of the community? Well, as you've heard with other speeches, whether it was uh, Veterans Affairs or, or tax reform, I do believe Donald Trump's going to be very specific. Uh, unlike Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama, who have no plan whatsoever, I know that he's going to emphasize securing the borders and building a wall because he is going to build the wall. He's going to uh, deport those uh, illegal immigrants who have broken our law. Uh, he's going to uh, stress E-Verify, which is a way for every agricultural uh, worker to be verified as being in this country legally. And uh, I, I believe we will hear uh, the, the compassionate uh, work papers, a way to process illegal immigrants that have been here for an extended period of time, raising a family, abiding by the laws so that they can come out of the shadows, pay taxes, we know who they are. And that, in conjunction with E-Verify, will make sure we never face the situation we face now with 18 illegal immigrants here. We don't even know where they live or who they are. So I believe you will hear a very specific uh, a proposal, and that's going to put the heat on Hillary Clinton, who has no proposal as to what she's going to do. And I think America will respond very, very favorably to that. Well, we can't discuss her proposal now because we're at the end of the hour. Unfortunately, we'll have to revisit that another time. But thank you very much. Thanks, Congressman. Always good Thanks to be with you, Andrea. Here. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.